Thank what's you. The, Go ahead. What's the most important thing you feel like you have to improve in this game to win? Well, they can't shoot 52 percent on wide open threes. They can't. Uh, we can't give them that. Now they're they're going to make shots. Kevin Durant and, and Curry and, and Sam, they're good. So they're going to make it. Our, we, our, Head can't explode that they go one on one and they make shots like I'm sure it doesn't you know James does the same thing or Chris, so you have to be able to absorb some of their greatness, at the same time don't make the mental errors that we did, and that would accumulate for you know 10 to 15 to 20 points, and that's the difference in the game and, you know not even that many points but that's the difference and we just had too many of those we just got to do a better job. You had, you had mentioned Mike that the other day that you have to have a short memory in the, in these games. Yeah. Yeah, what's your name again? Mike. <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. Uh, it's, uh, I forgot. Mark. Thank you, Mark. Okay, Mike, thank you. No, so, I had a short memory. Uh, so having so. said that, were you all not having a short enough memory in game one? <clears throat> No, we didn't. We went play to play. We got a little rattled uh, with ourselves, and that, that we can't do that. We got to, like I said, we got to be able to absorb some body blows and, uh, and, and how good they are. Uh, we can't let it get us. It got us a little bit, and we got a little, you know, we, we sagged a little bit with our spirit. That won't happen Wednesday. Uh, we're going to have a heck of a good battle on Wednesday. Do you think that defense? you can shore up offensively that yes. help you defensively? Yeah. Well, one, one thing we can shore up is be sure to keep all the noise. Out, um, you know, and, that, and we we talked about that. There's just too many, you know, and and, and the regular so it's not. I'm not complaining, but we we play the way we play, and when we play that way, we're pretty good. And we we can't again. We get a little upset on offense as we did on defense, and defense as well as we did on offense. So we have to be able to uh, understand where we have to do this a little bit longer, a little bit better, and um, uh, up the ante a little bit. Uh, and our pace has got to be up a little bit. You know, if we didn't. There, there are things that we can do, and we will do, and that's why I just expect us to be a lot better on Wednesday. What, what noise are you talking noise about? about? Noise? Not just everybody. I mean, just from ourselves. I mean, it's like you know, oh my gosh, they're ISO. That's all we do. No. Did. And that's what we do best. We scored like 60% of the time on it. It's like, no, really? We, you know, uh, like uh, all of a sudden, oh, they don't pass everybody's stand. Really? Are you watch this for 82 games? That's what we do. We are who we are, and we're pretty good at it, and we can't get off who we are uh, and embrace it. Just be better of who we are. And don't worry about somebody else solves the, the puzzle a different way. Fine, they, that's how they solve. We solve our puzzle this way. We gotta play at, at our strengths, and we know our strengths, and we just gotta do it better. My the series longer. going back to Oakland for three and four, where they're obviously so tough. I know it's obvious, but how critical. Although we're one and over there, so I'll just yes, let you know. Yes. <laughs> but it was a regular season, not the playoffs. Well, there you go, and we're zero zero <laughs> on that one. We're zero zero on that one. So how speculation <laughs> has it they're tough there. No, I, I know that. Go ahead. How, how critical? I mean, obvious to, to get this. Wow, well, yeah. I mean, anyway, it was critical. Last game was really critical. Uh, this one's really critical. That next one's going to be really critical. It's, it's all the same. Uh, we did the same thing against Utah. If you think about it, we, we eked out game one, didn't play well. Game two, they busted us. We go to Utah and go, oh, oh we're, we're in trouble. You know, and Utah's a tough place to play. No, we're not. And we're, ne we're never going to be in trouble with this team. Now, having said that, it's a critical game. We got to come out. We got to be fired up. The fans got to be fired up. And we got to give them our best shot. And then, uh, and then we'll move on to Sunday. And then whatever result is, it is. And then we'll have to fight that too. But, you know, no one told Cleveland that you got to go back to Oakland two times and, and play. And can you win? Yeah, you can. But it's, uh, we just made it a little bit harder. But, you know, it's so be it. Mike, there were questions afterwards for James about kind of the comfort level of some of the guys on the offensive end. There were people asking questions about Eric and other players. Do you agree that there were times that they looked a little bit uncomfortable and kind of what you have to do to get the rest of not James and Chris going and feeling good about what you're doing offensively? Yeah, probably. But, you know, like I said, this is how we play. So we play all year. I don't know why you wouldn't be comfortable. Uh, we got we got some shots up there. It's just you know, we miss. I don't know how many layups we just miss, and they turn them into fast breaks. You just take that away, make the layups, and, and defend a little bit better. We just got to get into transition. Well, we got to defend better. Uh, a, a lot of things that sort, and like we get up the ante. But like I said, we're not. How do we get them comfortable? We can put some blankets out there or something. I don't know, but it's not. It's not happening. And you know what? Play through it. You know, so be it. 
Uh, this is this is comes down to a, a dog fight. It doesn't come down to feeling comfortable. Everybody should feel uncomfortable, and your hair should be on fire, and you should be playing and and spitting blood out there. This, this is serious, hard stuff to overcome. One of the better teams ever in the history of the NBA. My, they got to embrace the situation. What is it that makes you think that any of your players might have actually been listening to the noise about the? Oh no, style no, of no, 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 not just human nature. I mean, I, we have them for 10 minutes, and you guys got them for 24 hours. So. <laughs> if, they, if they're human, they're, they've heard something, and it's going to make sure they don't. Mike, James had a, he played 35 minutes, uh, Chris played 38. I know James had a bit of an injury scare in there in the first yeah. quarter or something like that. How much was that based off fatigue, and would a you like bit. to build that out? Yeah, I mean, they, well, I think Chris is about to limit, but we can we can up James a little bit. But I want to make sure, you know, we were down four at the start of the fourth quarter. You know, you bring him in right there, then he's got to go the whole quarter. And he, I, I'm thinking in my mind, and, you know, I'll adjust, but uh, he's got to finish the game off, and it's going to come down to a lot of him. So I did not want him to have some legs, and then it got up to 7 8 before I could get him back in there. Okay, well, that won't happen again, and, and he can go a little bit more. You're not worried at all about the ISO ball wearing him down, you know, both, I, both ways? Both I don't ways. think so. I mean, that was that was our best thing we had. I don't know why it's bad. If we were turning over, we had a couple of, and then I told him, I mean, perception is not reality. Reality are numbers. Numbers are that's good. Numbers are, yeah, we had a couple 24-second violations, and everybody goes, oh, sure. You know, they go crazy, and our guys do sometimes. That, we, we can't do that. You know, we can't do that. Yeah, it's going to happen. We're not going to be perfect. But the numbers show that that's pretty good. Now, having said that, we, that's what is the worst that we can do, that good thing. we got to get in the transition. we got to get, uh, you know, Trevor those guys shots. we got to get the ball moved up a little bit quicker, and we can do that. That's, we control that. Where are you on the backup center options? Playing what both, we got. Playing both yeah, I got, we got, you know, I got about four or five guys there that we can go to, and I got to figure out which one's working. And, you know, I don't know. What well, was mine? First half, minute, yeah. second. What made you want to make the switch, or was that predetermined? Well, just, just you know, looking. At, it's it's a, it's a battle out there. I, you know, it's just gut feeling. Mike, you said that's the, the way you guys play and that's what you've had success doing. When did you personally kind of settle into that as this is the route that this team is going to take offensively? We don't watch them every day. You watch them and what's the best way that we can play this team with this talent? This is the best way. I mean, it's, you know, we won 65 games and there was nothing to disprove it all year. So why wouldn't we play this way? And I think this is the best. Uh, James is one, one of the best, if not the best ever, one-on-one -on -one player. So they're, and you know, give them credit in the sense of, they're switching every day. We can run a thousand plays the other day. James looks up, oh, there's Looney right in front of him because they switched every day. Well, that's, you know, then we're going to take advantage of that. And we have to. If we can't, then they, they've imposed their will better than we can impose ours. Did you notice it? Was that the second like training camp when you see this? Is like this oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you have a James last year, you saw a bunch of it. Uh, this year we added Chris, and so it takes a little bit of pressure off. But, yeah, this is what we do, man. We got great defenders that are spot up shooters. We don't have guys that can come off flat off picks and shoot. So we're not going to do that. I mean, that wouldn't make sense to, to play to our weaknesses. But we have a lot of strengths that we need to play to them, keep playing to them, and do it better.